problems on sampling theorem the first problem is two signals x1 of t having value cos 2 pi cos 20 pi t and x2 of t cos 100 pi t are sampled with sampling frequency 40 hertz then obtain the associated discrete time signal x1 and x2n and comment on the signal so first the given signal is x1 of t we compare it with standard equation so given x1 of t is equal to cos of 20 pi t this is equation 1 compare it compare equation 1 with standard equation so it is x1 of t is equal to cos 2 pi f1 t this is equation 2 so therefore 2 pi f1 is equal to 20 pi therefore f1 is equal to 10 hertz this is the value of frequency f1 so next is now we have to find the discrete signal x1 of n now it is obtained by replacing t by n by fs now discrete discrete signal x of n is obtained by replacing t by n by fs in equation 2 also what is fs fs is nothing but the sampling frequency which is 40 hertz which is given in the problem so equation 2 becomes equation Now equation 2 becomes x1 of t uh, t is replaced by x1 of n x1 of n is equal to cos of 2 pi f1 n by fs so it is cos of 2 pi value of f1 is 40 hertz sorry value of f1 is 10 hertz so it is 10 n divided by fs is 40 so it is cos of 2 pi 1 by 4 n that is cos of pi by 2 n this is the value of x1 of n now we have to find the x2 of n next we have to find the x2 of n so given signal given signal x2 of t is equal to cos of 100 pi t this is our equation 3 and compare this equation compare it with standard equation that is x2 of t is equal to cos 2 pi f2 t compare 3 and 4 from that we get 2 pi f2 is equal to 100 pi so f2 is equal to 50 hertz now similar uh, same similar to previous problem that is now discrete
discrete signal x2 of n is obtained by putting t by n by fs fs so equation 4 becomes what is equation 4 it is x2 of n is equal to cos of 2 pi value of f2 is 50 or so it is 50 n fs is 40 which is given in the problem so it is cos of 2 pi u by 4 into n so this is x2 of n we can also write this equation as 2 pi into 1 plus 1 by 4 into n and multiply this cos of 2 pi n plus 2 pi into 1 by 4 into n so we write this equation in the form of 2 pi n plus theta now so this is equation number 5 this is the value of x2 of n now we have cos 2 pi n plus theta is equal to cos theta. Similarly, we replaced this in the above equation. So, equation phi becomes x2 of n is equal to cos of this is 2 pi n, this is 2 pi n. So, it will be cos of theta. So, it is 2 pi by 4 n that is cos of pi by 2 into n. This is the value of x2 of n. Now the next problem is for analog signal x a of t is equal to 3 cos 50 pi t plus 10 sin 300 pi t minus cos of 100 pi t then calculate Nyquist rate So, we can also write this given equation in the form of, we can write given equation can be written as x a of t is equal to 3 cos of in the form of 2 pi that is if it is 2 pi into 25 t plus 10 sin of in the form of 2 pi so it is 2 pi into 150 t minus cos of 2 pi into 50 t so this is our equation 1 now we have standard equation so we can write x a of t is equal to 3 cos 2 pi f1 t plus 10 sin cos of 2 pi f2 t minus cos of 2 pi f3 t this is equation 2 now we compare equation 1 and 2 So we get f1 is equal to 25 u. Oops. 
एफ टू इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी हर्ट्स एंड एफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी हर्ट्स सो इन दिस थ्री फ्रिक्वेंसी द मैक्सिमम फ्रिक्वेंसी इज एफ टू दैट इज वन फिफ्टी हर्ट्स देअर फोर एफ मैक्स इज वन फिफ्टी हर्ट्स सो नाइक्री स्ट्रेट इज नाइक्रिस क्राइटेरिया नाइक्रिस रेट इज टू एफ मैक्स सो इट इज टू इंटू वन फिफ्टी दैट इज थ्री हंड्रेड हर्ट्स दिस वन इज ना द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज डिटर्माइन द बीट रेट एंड द रिजोल्यूशन इन द सैम्पलिंग of the signal with dynamic range of 1 volt if the sampling rate is 20 samples per second and an 8 bit adc is used then what is the maximum frequency that can be present in the discrete signal now here 8 bit adc is used the first part is 8 bit adc is used so bit rate is equal to bit rate is given by सैम्पल पर सेकंद इंटू बीट पर सैम्पल नो द सैम्पलिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी इज यर द सैम्पलिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी ट्वेंटी सैम्पल्स पर सेकंद दैट इज गिवन ट्वेंटी सैम्पल्स पर सेकंद सो the bit rate is 20 into bit per sample is 8 so it is 20 into 8 that is 160 bits per second this is our bit rate now the next part is resolution so here resolution is given by resolution is given by delta equal to x max minus minimum divided by l minus 1 now what is l l is nothing but the number of the level in the quantization process Since L is equal to number of levels in quantization process, which is related to number of bits per level, which is related to number of bits per level and it is given by b must be greater than equal to log to the base 2 of n now here how many bits are given 8 bits are given so here b is equal to 8 bits per level a given since 8 8 bit adc is used 8 bit adc is used so considering this equality sign we get so consider this sign, consider this sign as a equality sign considering equality sign b is equal to log to the base 2 of l therefore l is equal to 2 raised to b 2 raised to 8 that is 256 now 
मैक्स माइनस माइनस मिनिमम इज नथिंग बट द डायनामिक रेंज विच इज गिवन वन वोल्ट इज गिवन सो दिस वन वोल्ट इज गिवन नो पुट दिस वैल्यूज putting these values in equation 1 equation 1 means which equation this equation so 1 divided by 256 minus 1 it is 3.92 into 10 raised to minus 3 now the next part is f max we have to find the f max so the maximum range of frequency that can be represented by a discrete signal is that can be represented by discrete signal is from माइनस एफ एस बाय टू टू प्लस एफ एस एफ एस बाय टू सो द हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी द हाइएस्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी इज एफ मैक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ एस बाय टू दैट इज ट्वेंटी बाय टू दैट इज टेन सैम्पल्स पर सेकंड 